Hello, I'm Sophie from Easy and Gluten Free and I'm here in my kitchen. It's Saturday night and I'm preparing a special sweet and buttery bread for tomorrow morning. On Sunday morning we always eat some uh, a kind of sweet bread and um, I like to yeah I like to make a nice a nice breakfast for my children and for myself. It's got to be easy and it's got to be gluten free obviously. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do. So you can obviously check the website for the full recipe but as you can see I took this big bowl and in there I started by putting um, 230 milliliters of water and 230 milliliters of milk, all at room temperature. I then added seven grams of dried yeast and I sprinkled it with sugar just to activate the yeast. I left it for about 10 minutes. When the yeast started bubbling, that meant that it was activated. So I then added some butter, 80 grams of butter at room temperature, two eggs, some um, gluten-free flour in for today I use this one, um, mix B by share. I, you know, if you're in the UK, you can use Dove's Farm bread mix. That's really brilliant. It works absolutely perfectly. Uh, any white bread mix, I believe, will do really. Um, then I added um, 100 grams of uh, cane sugar of, um, yeah, of, 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 um, of kind of brown cane sugar, 100 grams that was, and um, a, a teaspoonful of vanilla sugar gives it a nice, that's optional, but it gives it a nice taste of vanilla and a little pinch of salt. And now I am going to mix all this using my hand mixer and I'll show you what it looks like once I've done this. There you go, now you can see it's all nice and mixed and smooth and I am going to put it in some cake tins. So there you go. I've lined two cake tins with non-stick paper. This is super, super important because gluten-free dough, as you can see, is, is pretty liquid. It's not like a bread. Well, it's not very liquid, but it's not like a bread. If I, if I touch it, it's, it sticks, you see. So you have to line your cake tins with some non-stick baking paper. Okay, I'll, I'll reuse mine if it's if it's still okay. And um, I separated the dough into equal equal bits. Now I'm going to let this rise. In fact, I'm going to put it in the oven, but in the cold oven overnight. And tomorrow morning I will show you. I, I, well, I'll film it. Um, just so you can see what it looks like it's going to it's going to rise pretty pretty much during the night and um, yeah it'll be ready to be baked in the morning so good morning it is now six o'clock in the morning I'm hiding in my little bathroom being really quiet because my family is asleep but we get to go in the kitchen and I show you the dough actually rose really well. In fact, almost too well. It's, it's, it's the summer right now and it's quite hot and humid. So the dough went a bit mad overnight and it spilled over a bit, but it doesn't matter. It's beautiful. I'll show you how it's doing. And I'm going to turn my oven on and soon we get to have a lovely loaf of sweet bread. <laughs> Let's go. So here it is, as you can see. It's really risen beautifully. I'm going to turn my oven on and uh, I'll be back when it's cooked. So while the bread's cooking, I'm going to have my tea, going to do a bit of work on my computer and uh, I'll see you in a minute. Well, I'll see you in about half an hour. So because I like my bread really nice and crispy, the last 10 minutes I take it out of the cake tin and I'm going to but it's still not completely cooked so I'm going to put 
it back in the oven outside the cake tin. It, it, it holds now, so I can, I can do that. So there you go, they are ready. As you can see, all nice and, and done. And um, yeah, ready to be eaten. There you go, look how moist it is. It's absolutely lovely. And the smell of vanilla is really, really nice. It's pretty amazing. Now look, I'm going to put a bit of jam on it. Now I've got some jam on it. And... And there you go. I can't wait until my family gets up. I'll have one for me. <laughs> hey, check out my we my website, www.easyandglutenfree.com for the full recipe and loads of other delicious, easy and gluten-free recipes. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like the video and you subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.